Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. I'm going to be continuing our iMovie 10.0, the new version of iMovie tutorials. And uh, if you haven't seen the previous tutorials, I'd recommend you do so because the layout of my iMovie will be a little bit different if you are just now starting. But let's just get started right away. I'm going to open up my iMovie, which is already open. And uh, previously we learned about how to uh, simply edit and simply select and drag simply right into the project and uh, edit from there and then change the audio a little bit and additional notes about the audio is you can actually turn it down right here you don't have to click on it and uh, change it from in, in adjustments but you can also adjust the like the fade out and fade no uh, yeah fade out right here and then fade in of the audio meaning like when you when you're playing the movie it will start the low volume will begin to get lower as you reach the end, if it's all the way down here like this, it'll begin to get lower. So the thing is, I'm gonna set my audio all the way to zero, that way it doesn't interrupt, th that way I don't interrupt myself when I'm playing the video for you guys. But in the previous video, I also said we're gonna go into adjustments and all the tools inside, and which we are, but first we're gonna start with picture in picture, which is a very common and popular feature to use while when editing a video or using a video. So the way we're gonna do this is, the way you wanna do this is you wanna, okay, let's say you have, uh, this is our original clip that we started with. We is, I uploaded another video, I mean, I imported another video <laughs> into uh, my iMovie tutorials event, and now it's in my project. So now I can simply select the part I want, and I'm going to simply drag the part I want. You can either put it down here for your audio, if you want, only want the audio of that video, or you can put it all the way up here, which is where we want it, and you can see it creates a cutaway. And what I mean by a cutaway, I'm going to play this right now, I'm going to turn on the volume on this video as well, and play this right now, and you'll see what I mean by a cutaway. You see, it just cut away into the video up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into adjustments. It's going to go this is it's set as cutaway, meaning what we just did here. Now, before I go into this picture in picture, we're going to explain green and blue is if you have a green screen on this imported video. If you have a green screen behind you, then only your your body will show up. Meaning only your body will show up in the video and the background will be whatever you have as the video back here, which you can put flowers or whatever, make it beautiful and such. Now, since I explained the green blue screen, we can go to side by side. is very popular as well. Most a lot of people use it. Now you can see there's two of me on the screen. We basically, put this video by this video right next to each other, and uh, you can change the order of which one you want to be first as well through here. But as you can see right here, it's go goes just one of me, and then all of a sudden there's two of me. Kind of kind of creepy, right? But then the thing is. This is really useful. You'll see a lot of YouTubers use this um, to make some skits. Uh, there'll be one one of you on this screen, another of you on that screen, and you can like make it like an action, like you're shooting yourself, and it's kind of fun. I actually did a video once like that. But the thing is, you want to actually make sure you don't pass this line when you're recording your screen. So it's kind of sometimes it gets difficult in the editing, sometimes because of pain, but. Over time, it just it becomes simpler and simpler. So now we got the, the those three functions. I'm gonna select this clip now because this is our my clip that's on top, and this is where you'll get your options. And now we're gonna go to picture and picture. The way this is does it picture puts this the top image here. I mean the top video of your videos, and it puts it right on top of the current main project video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys some basic picture-in-picture picture edits like here dissolve you can have it zoom when it's gonna zoom in like as soon as it plays it will zoom in and then zoom out basically like like so there we are there yeah there's that little animation it zoomed in now yeah those are just simple animations of how the video will appear or swap meaning like here I'll show you guys let's play it and just watch watch the screen here And there you are, which is actually a really cool feature. But the thing is, I'm going to delete that first clip right there. That way it doesn't take us so long to get to this picture in picture. And I'm going to adjust the size of this video here just a little bit shorter. That way we don't have to wait so long. And then here we are. Now we learned the three animations it will do in order to present your picture in picture. Now we can show like the, the seconds of the animation, of how long the animation will last. Then you can have the border of the picture in picture video. And uh, 
I normally prefer the whitest one and then I, you can change the color of it as well which I normally choose white because then um, like most of the time I use my picture in pictures at the end of my videos that way people can select it and click on it and it will take them to a different video that's very common on YouTube is that at the end and you have an outro and you have a little song and then you have an additional video pop on the screen that was playing and you'll be able to actually select it to go to another video it's very popular on YouTube I do suggest you use it yourself if you are a YouTuber because it, it does give you views to additional other videos and uh, it actually helps to guide your guide audience to what video they should watch next or what video is related to this video and then then also I like to add an additional effect as a shadow and you'll see that a shadow down here drops down which adds another additional effect then once you're done you set set up and you adjusted how you want your video what size where you want it you can like line up to these new lines that iMovie 10.0 offers you and uh, you'll be set there's your picture in pictures whatever you want to set it you'll be able to play the video and it just looks absolutely amazing yeah thank you guys for watching this tutorial hope you guys catch you guys next tutorial which we're gonna go through since we got picture in picture done and miss the cutaway blue screen green screen side by side we're gonna go through all the rest of these adjustments and the edits that you can do to the videos and they're most likely gonna be I'm gonna take them one video at a time that way I can fully explain them. thank you guys for watching and have a great day.